I wrote a story about how about half of Miami's tree species will struggle to survive in the coming decades because of rising temperatures. Hi, my name is Ashley Miznazi and I'm a client reporter at the Miami Herald. I talked to University of Miami professor Ken Feely, who has studied trees for decades. So a lot of us, we think of trees as immortal, uh, but trees are being stressed all the time and a lot of them are dying. And so as it gets hotter, that photosynthesis actually becomes less efficient. And so they can actually start to starve under these higher temperatures. I've got my camera and I'm going on a walk in a tropical hardwood hammock to see some of the trees that Feely said will or won't do better when the temperatures get hotter. The tree species that are most in danger are called temperate species, which means they don't live in places that are too hot or too cold. One tree that's in danger is the live oak. He said local leaders should consider a more tropical landscape for Miami's future with maybe more trees from the greater Caribbean. This Florida tree I'm walking up to now is called the gumbo limbo. And Feely says this is an example of a tropical tree that might do better in the coming years because it does well in hot temperatures. I'm walking out of the trail and I found the last tree I was looking for, our state tree, the sable palm. And this tree, Feely says, won't do well in extreme temperatures. Basically, Miami is the hottest place where it grows right now. And so as it gets hotter, that tells us that it's likely to get too hot for cabbage palms. And so we might soon lose our state tree from Miami. Can't just be thinking about today. We need to think about the future, right? We need to plan for the future of Miami. Do you think that Miami should plan for a more tropical future? Read more about the research in my story in the Miami Herald.